What's good, my fellow Tarnish? In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the most well-hidden Sakura Tree fragments in the game, starting right here. We're sitting at the Morth Ruins side of Grace. So in this one zone right here, there's four of them. All right, let's go to the hardest one to find, which is right over here. A lot of you will be familiar with this area because we've shown it already in our Dry Leaf Dane video. However, there is actually a pot right over here behind the ruins. Go ahead and smack this guy up. He's being guarded by this dancer here, though, so be careful. Go ahead and sauce up his bodyguard, and let's make our way to the next Sakura Tree fragment. From this exact location, you then want to travel up here. Run straight towards this large mountainous area. There's actually going to be a spirit spring right here it's not going to be activated however you want to run around the back of this entire mountain there's going to be bats back here just ignore them and all the way back here to the back should be your rocks go ahead and knock those down make your way back around go ahead and use this to get to the top run past the birds Continue making your way all the way to the back. At the very tip of this mountain. And there you'll see it just in front of you. And then you'll make it right here to the Scout of You Cross. Now, heading back over to the North Ruins one more time. There's going to be two more in this location, one of them that is kind of just out of the way and the other one, which is pretty obvious, but I'll take you to them nonetheless. So from the North Ruin side of Grace, head right over here to the west. And in this encampment, there's actually going to be a Sucker to Tree fragment waiting for you right here. Make sure you grab that. And then finally, last but not least, you're going to run over here to the northeast. There's going to be a huge lake. And inside of that lake is going to be a statue. Right in front of that statue is going to be another Sakura Tree fragment waiting for you. Right over here. All right. Let's keep it moving. The next Scatter Tree fragment is going to be right over here in the Cliff Road Terminus. Scatter Tree, Sakadu, what, whatever. <laughs> like, fam. I can't be bothered with trying to say this right. Sacred. Anyways, you run over here and there's actually going to be another pot man. Right up here. Go ahead and sauce this man up. And he will give it to you. All right, let's make it to our next scattered tree fragment. So right here at the Reclusus River upstream. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. You're gonna make your way over here. There's gonna be a waterfall, and at the very base of the waterfall is gonna be the fragment we're looking for. If you don't know to go over here, you probably won't. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna hop across first. This is an area we're pretty familiar with because we've come here for one of the best armor sets in the game and one of the best weapons for a dex build. But today, we're not going to go down that path. You actually want to come over here to the left. You want to make your way all the way over there where we can safely get down. You want to get to the largest waterfall in this area. So you're going to come over here. Hop down once, then turn around, hop down again. And turn around again and you'll make it all the way over here once you get to this point here you don't want to go down any further make your way all the way to the back now there's going to be a lot of cool items back here but wrap your way all the way around 
ignoring all the enemies, of course. And at the very base, inside of this little coffin, is going to be your scattered tree fragment. All right, guys, you see the location. You know what time it is. I almost forgot about this one, and I'm glad I didn't. This is going to be another one of those fragments that's just out of the way. So you're going to come to the Abyssal Woods side of Grace, at which point you then want to travel straight north. Luckily, you don't have to fight anything. If you're not seen, you don't have to fight anything. You should be okay. Just follow behind me. We're going to come up here. You're going to make a right at the top of this little mountainish path right here. So go ahead and hop your way up to the top. Now, slowly make your way all the way around the back. And yeah, you see those boys down there? They want the smoke. And right there in the distance is going to be our Sakudu Tree Fragment. Now, I know it's dark as hell. And we're just going to have to make that be a thing for right now. But you literally want to come over here. Come over here run grab your sakudu tree fragment and then get the hell out there's going to be one of those enemies that you either have to parry or sneak past over there as well as the mages so good luck so this last scattered tree fragment is going to be considered a little bit of a spoiler or it's going to be in the very last location of the game there's a lot of scattered tree fragments here, but this scattered tree fragment is actually completely off the beaten path. So I'll take you straight to it. We want to start over here at the spiral rise. So this last scattered tree fragment is actually cracked. You're going to start here inside of the spiral rise. All right. There's already going to be a couple here for you, but we're going to go outside. There's going to be some enemies. Just ignore them. Run down these stairs over here to the left. Run through this little hallway. And then you want to hop down to those stairs over there. So let's hop down. Good. Once you make it down those stairs, you actually want to go up these stairs. Once you make it down those stairs, you want to come right over here. Now, this path is cracked. Just be ready because it's going to be a long journey. But at the end of this path, you're actually also going to get this pretty cool weapon. I'll go ahead and show you. This is an insane dexterity weapon that also has some stats in faith and strength. This right here is just one of my favorite weapons. I know I'm a strength build, but I'm still using it. It's the Euphoria. So you're going to get a Sakudu Tree Fragment and the Euphoria weapon. Hop across. Go ahead and grab this item here and then make your way down. All right. At which point you'll then wrap around the corner. You're going to jump across here. Make your way around. And then carefully hop here and then make your way right in here kill this guy there and we'll continue on the path you're going to get to this point right here where you see this body you're going to see that you're going to back up a little bit and do the jump of your life good job once you make that jump go ahead and hop down and you're in the tower settlement. This guy is going to be here waiting for you. Disgusting. All right. Once you take his life, go ahead and collect all your different rewards.
Be careful, there is death in front of you. Go ahead and run all the way around. All right. Now it's time for the fun part. You then want to make your way over here. All right. So you're going to come down here. Run past these boys. Make your way all the way down. Ignore that scary man. Or not. Jesus Jones. Bro. Bro. You do not have to act like that. Go straight downstairs. Just don't even. Just just don't even. Oh, we got to. That sucks. This sucks. I have to. It's do or die. It's him or me. And it's him. All right. All right. All right. Once you sauce that man up, go ahead. Turn on a lantern. All right, now that you made your way all the way down, head straight. Collect your weapon, and congratulations. If you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash the like button. Sub so that you don't miss out on a whole lot more. Shout out the Earth Tree content coming to you real soon. This is your boy Emma, MCHD, but for now, though, I'm out of here.